Okay, folks, uh, today's lesson is really going to play off of solving logarithmic equations. Um, so our learning objective for this lesson is that you'll be able to solve logarithmic equations using the properties of logarithms, which we covered uh, in our previous lesson. Okay, and so we're just going to kind of jump into some examples here. I've got a lot of examples in this video. Um, and uh, I just want to give you kind of a sense of the breadth of different problems that could come up on today's assignment. So on this first page of examples, we've got two logs that are set equal to one another. And in all of these examples, the bases are the same. So if you have two logs that are equal to one another, and those logs are the same base, what that means is that the inside of those log functions are equal to each other. So if we look at this first example where we say log base 3 of x equals log base 3 of 7, that just means that x equals 7. And there's nothing else to do for this one because we've already isolated the variable x, so we can just say that x equals 7. This is a pretty simple, straightforward example. Let's look at a little bit more complicated problem. Um, so now we're going to say log base 5 of 2x plus 1 equals log base 5 of 15. So again, we'll set the inside of those logs equal to one another. So 2x plus 1 equals 15. Right? We just essentially get rid of the logs. Now we need to solve for x. So we'll subtract both sides by 1 and get that 2x equals 14. And then we'll divide both sides by 2 to get that x equals 7. Okay, so hopefully those examples are pretty straightforward. Let's do a slightly more complicated one. Now we have the log of 4x plus 2 equals the log of 3x minus 5. So again, we're going to set the insides equal to one another. 4x plus 2 equals 3x minus 5. Um, and then uh, we'll subtract the 3x over to get the x's on the same side. That will give us x plus 2 equals negative 5. And then we'll subtract the 2 over to get the x by itself. So then we'll get x equals negative 7. Okay, and then one slightly more complicated example. So we have the log base 7 of negative 7x minus 10 equals the log base 7 of x squared. So again, we'll get rid of the logs. Negative 7x minus 10 equals x squared. We'll add the 7x and the 10 over to the other side. That will give us 0 equals x squared plus 7x plus 10. Now, this is one maybe we haven't seen, um, we haven't solved the quadratic equation in a while. This is one where you have to factor, or you don't have to factor. You could solve it with quadratic equation or completing the square if uh, that's what you prefer. I would solve this one by factoring. So this will factor into x plus 2 times x plus 5. If you don't remember why that is, it's because 2 times 5 equals 10 and 2 plus 5 equals 7. So that's why this one will factor that way. And then we'll set each of those equal to 0 individually. So 0 equals x plus 2, 0 equals x plus 5. So then we end up with x equals negative 2 and x equals negative 5 as our solu two solutions to this problem. Okay, so that's our first page of examples. Um, next page, they're going to be a little bit more complicated. Although, actually, these are all ones that you guys saw in our last unit. Um, saw a lot of problems like this in our last unit, so um, this shouldn't be too difficult for you. It's very similar to what we did in the Richter scale problems. So if we look at this first example, we have log base 4 of 2x plus 7, and that equals 10. And so 
in our first example here, what we're really going to do is try to isolate the log and then rewrite it as an exponent. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 7 from both sides. That'll leave me with log base 4 of 2x, and that will equal 3. Then I'm going to rewrite that, expon or that logarithmic equation as an exponential equation. So I'm going to say 4 to the third power equals 2x. That's because 4 is the base of my logarithm, so it becomes the base of my exponent. I raise it to the third power, and that equals 2x. Then I will divide both sides by 2. I'm sorry, then I will evaluate 4 to the third power. That will give me 64. And then I will divide both sides by 2 and end up with 32 equals x. My next example is very similar, um, but because this is 4 times the log base 6, I'm going to start by dividing by 4. So I'll divide both sides by 4. 15 divided by 4 is 3.75. Then I'm going to rewrite my logarithm as an exponential. So 6 to the 3.75 equals negative 3x plus 2. I'll evaluate that exponent, which is 828.07 approximately. Then I'm going to solve for x. So I'm going to subtract by 2 on both sides, get 826.07 equals negative 3x. Then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. And we'll get negative 257, excuse me, negative 275.3568 if we're rounding to the nearest thousandth. Okay, and then one more example like that. This one is going to have two steps to get the log by itself. So first I'm going to add 6 to both sides. That will get me 5 log of 4x plus 2 equals 17. Then I'll divide both sides by 5. Log of 4x plus 2 equals 3.4. Now I need to rewrite this as an exponent. Remember that if there's no log, or sorry, excuse me, no base on the log, then the base of the log is 10. So this is going to be 10 to the 3.4 power equals 4x plus 2. I'll evaluate 10 to the 3.4. That's 2,511.89 approximately. I'll subtract both sides by 2, which gives me 2,509.89 equals 4x. And then I'll divide both sides by 4. That will give me 627.4716. OK, so hopefully that all seems pretty straightforward. Things are going to get a little bit more complicated now because now we're going to have to use some properties of logarithms to solve these logs. Now, I think the only properties that these problems have you use are the addition and subtraction properties. So you won't have to use the power rule, and you won't have to use um, the logarithm of 1 rule. Um, you just have to use the addition and subtraction property. And so remember that if you're adding two logs together, if you want to combine them into one log, you have to multiply what's inside. So 4 times x is 4x. 4 times 3 is 12. So I'm ending up with my left side being simplified to log base 8 of 4x plus 12. Now I have a log base 8 on both sides. So just like on the first um, set of slides, we can get rid of the logarithm. So we can say 4x plus 12 equals 10. Then I will subtract both sides by 12, and I'll get negative 2. Or I'll get 4x equals negative 2. Then I'll divide both sides by 4 and get x equals negative 0 0.5, or x equals negative 1 half. Okay, 
So that's when we're adding two logarithms. What if we're subtracting two logarithms? Well, now we're going to use um, the subtraction of logarithms property. So I'll end up, if I take 9x divided by 3, that's 3x. So this will end up being the log of 3x. And then that's equal to the log of 15. Again, I can get rid of my logs now, so I get 3x equals 15. And then I can divide both sides by 3 to solve for x to end up with x equals 5. Okay, um, let's do a little bit more complicated. Now we don't have logs on both sides. One side is just a number. Again, we're going to start by combining our logarithms. So remember that if we're adding two logs, that's the same thing as multiplying what's on the inside. So 5x times 6 is 30x. So this will combine to equal the log base 9 of 30x, and we're setting that equal to 4. At this point, we can rewrite this logarithm as an exponential. So it's going to become 9 to the 4th power equals 30x. 9 to the 4th power evaluates to 6,561, and that equals 30x. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 30, and I'm going to get 218.7 uh, will equal x. Okay. Um, and then in the next problem, I'm subtracting, so I'm going to rewrite this as division. So this is going to be rewritten as the log base 2 of x minus 7 over 9, and that equals 8. Now I will rewrite that logarithm as an exponential, so that will become 2 to the 8th power equals x minus 7 over 9. 2 to the 8th is 256. Now to solve for x, I need to multiply both sides by 9. So I get 2,304 equals x minus 7. And I'll add 7. 2,311 equals x. Okay. Um... So that's where we are there. Last page. These ones are a little bit more complicated examples. So on this first one, we have x squared, excuse me, the log base 3 of x squared plus the log base 3 of 9 equals 4. So again, I'm going to use my properties of logarithm to combine them. So this is going to become log base 3 of 9x squared equals 4. Now I put the 9 in front just because that's the way polynomials are normally written. But if you wrote x squared times 9, that's technically correct too. It's just this is normally the way this expression would be written in a textbook. Now I'm going to rewrite my logarithm as an exponential. So 3 to the 4th power equals 9x squared. Three to the fourth power equals 81. So 81 equals 9x squared. Divide both sides by 9. We're going to get 9 equals x squared. Now, to solve this algebraically, you have to square root both sides. So the square root of 9 is 3. But remember that in algebra, when you square root both sides, you get one positive answer, and you also get a negative answer. So we get x equals 3. We also get x equals negative 3, because negative 3 times negative 3 also equals 9. So we get two answers when we solve this problem. Um, okay. And then for our last problem, we have the log of x minus 3 minus the log of x equals 3. When we rewrite this, it's going to become the log of x minus 3 over x 
equals 3. So we're using the subtraction property to write that as division. Remember that if there's no base on the logarithm, that means your base is 10. So this will rewrite as 10 to the third power equals x minus 3 over x. And 10 to the third power evaluates to 1,000. So 1,000 equals x minus 3 over x. I will multiply both sides of the equation by x to get the x out of the denominator. So then I get 1,000x equals x minus 3. Now I need to get all my x's on the same side of the equation, so I'm going to subtract that x over, and I get 999x equals negative 3. And then I will divide both sides by 999, and that gives me x equals negative 0.003. Um, okay, uh, let me know if you have any questions, um, and you can now move on to trying uh, the assignment uh, that goes with this video. Thank you.